This is a Philips Series 5000 11 in 1 multi grooming kit. It's designed for hair, face, and body. This is a packaging that the grooming kit comes in. And as you can see, there's some information on there. It says it's waterproof, got a four year worldwide guarantee, up to 80 minutes runtime. Inside the box, we've got a set of instructions the clipper unit with the standard clipper head there, a shaving attachment. A fine detail attachment for a fine detail around the beard area, a nose clipping attachment, a cleaning brush, a UK three pin charger, a bag there for carrying everything in, three hair combs, 9, 12, and 16 millimeters, three beard combs, one millimeter, two millimeter, and this one is adjustable three to seven millimeters, and this is a three millimeter comb for body hair. So I'll put the clippers on charge, it says to charge them initially for 16 hours, so. That's it on charge. Now we've got a green light on the charger. So as you can see my face is a real mess in more ways than one. My beard is really very thick. If I come up close to the camera hopefully you can see that and most trimmers I bought a pair just at Christmas time and they will not cope with this at all. I like to keep my hair short so every two or three weeks I just cut that right down with no comb on with my other cutter but I'll attempt to cut it with this particular grooming set to see what that's like. But I won't be using this set for that because for me the blade is too small for that particular purpose. I've charged this now for 12 hours and there's no indicator on it to tell you when it's fully charged which I think is a bit naff really. They should certainly let you know when the thing is fully charged. But I've charged it as per instructions so it's ready to go. Well that's dealing with the shorter stuff with no issues at all. It's quite difficult to see what I'm doing looking at on this camera screen. Might have to go and get a mirror I think. Well that is impressive, that's whipped that off no problem at all. It might not look too good on the camera because obviously I'm trying to cut it and film it at the same time and I can't exactly see what I'm doing. <laughs> but that's come off quite nicely. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim my beard using the longest comb. You can see there there's a little lever at the back. When you slide it, it moves the comb up and down. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to put that on the longest setting which is 7mm. It just clips over the top there, clips down. Oh, that is going through that beard very, very easily. I just cut everything to one length, I don't mess around with it. We take it down to five, I think. Certainly, no issues at all with uh, the way that this clipper's cutting my beard, and other clippers struggle, or some clippers struggle because it's really very thick. But I'm going to take that comb off now, and now I'm going to try and sort of tidy up the edges. So, I'll use a mirror for this because I could make a mess if I'm not careful. In fact, I have made a bit of a mess of that. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, it'll grow back again. So, I'm quite happy with the fact that if I was in front of a mirror, I could do a much better job of detailing that. And detailing is not something that I'm about, really. I just like it to look reasonable. 
Now, looking at the length of it, that looks absolutely fine, but this thing also comes with a shaver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try shaving with it to see whether it'll sort all this area out and make it neat and tidy rather than me using a blade like I normally do. So I'll get that and we'll give it a go. So the clipper just pulls off and then the shaver just clips in. So that's nice and easy. Now I don't think this is going to work but we'll see. Well, it is working to some extent. It's taken quite a lot off. Personally, I think the foil is too fine for this stuff. So I think I'll stick to my razor for that. Like I say, I will not be using this for cutting my hair, but if I'm going to demonstrate it, we'll see what it's like. As I said before, I don't use a comb when I'm cutting my hair. I want it as short as possible. So let's have a look and see. No issue with that at all. Actually, it's quite nice to use. Cordless gear, it's just so much more convenient. As you can see, that's actually doing a great job of cutting it. There's no issue with that at all. Let me get the mirror so I can see what's going on. So it's always behind the ears that I find difficult to do. It's done that no problem now. I'm going to leave it at that with this because my other clipper is way quicker at cutting the top of my head and I'm not going to cut the entire head because it takes too long and I can't really see what I'm doing where I am. If you're lucky and your wife is prepared to cut your hair for you then it'd be easy with this. You can just sling a chair outside and get your wife to cut it without any cables or anything. Very very quick and easy. So I'm impressed with this, I think it's a smashing piece of kit, it's going to be perfect for what I want, for doing my beard. The shaver attachment, nah that's not too good. I'll tell you one thing I will try, I'll try the uh, nose hair attachment as well while I'm here. I don't know about you guys but I always get massive nose hairs like appearing and it's a real pain. This actually, I can feel it's doing the job. It's all right, I think we're going to be okay with that. You can just run the clippers under the tap to clean all the attachments. The Philips Series 5000 11 in 1 multi grooming kit. Now, I think this is a smashing piece of equipment. It certainly turned me from hobo to handsome in the space of about 10 minutes. So, I think it's very capable of doing what it's supposed to do. There are a few issues with it. Firstly, 12 hours to charge a battery is an inordinate amount of time. There is no indication to say when the battery is charged. There's no indication to say when the battery is getting low. So I think as part of your regime with this, you need to be plugging it in regularly and charging it for five or six hours. And I think it should be fine. It cannot be used directly from the mains if the battery runs out. So other equipment that I've got, if the battery goes flat, you can just plug it in and use the charger and it will work. This apparently won't do that. It says it's waterproof and on the Amazon website somebody's asked a question as to whether it can be used in the shower and the manufacturer has said yes. So according to the manufacturer on Amazon it can be used in the shower which is obviously a good feature because personally I like to sort all my stuff out in the shower. It's a lot easier. As far as the tools are concerned they all seem to work really well. The shaver I think will be fine if your hair's not quite as thick as mine, but if you've got thick hair, it's not particularly effective. The rest of it though works fine. It cuts down to 0.5 millimeters if you don't have a comb fitted, which is really very good. It's almost like a shave. So that is very good. I'm pleased that I decided to buy this product and I can't wait to start using it properly in the bathroom where I can stand in front of a mirror and see what I'm doing. It's really difficult to sort all this out when you're messing about with a camera. But anyway, I think it's a very good piece of equipment I hope you've enjoyed this review and found it useful. Thank you for watching.